All right. So before we start our lovely exploration of angles, we're going to write down some key words to remember. One of them is congruent. You guys saw this in the Quizlet. Who can tell me what congruent means? What was that again? Same shape and size. Yeah. <coughs> so, in other words, the measure of the angle is equal. We write the symbol for congruent is our equal sign because we're talking about measurements, shape and size. They're all equal, but they're especially equal when we have this little curvy squiggly on top. So that means it's extra equal. It's like super and a way that we use this in math is to say that the measure of e angle one, so if we're talking about angles, we always put a little mini angle in front of it. Is congruent to angle two. Um. Another key word that we're going to be talking about in this unit is parallel. What does it mean for two objects to be parallel? So parallel is describing lines. It's when two lines never intersect. And you have these on your notebooks. There's a line here. And lines go on for infinity. That's why we have little arrows on either side. But this line and this line no matter how far I stretch them out, never touch. they will never cross. So those lines are parallel. What's the name of a line that's not parallel? That's an excellent question, Rocco. Which brings us to our next word, a transversal, which is a line that crosses another line. And we most commonly see this when it's crossing two parallel lines. So this is our transversal.
Yeah, it does. It does look like a naughty thing. I can also draw a transversal like this. <coughs> because they do cross. Because they do cross. Mm -hmm. And with these terms, we can start defining relationships between angles. So I'm going to stop right here.